I received an email today from some brother. And the email was about this very topic. And it said that there was a woman uh, who went out to the soup. Actually, there were two sisters sitting with each other. One of them suddenly started wearing the full hijab. And her friend told her, what happened to you? You know, you, you didn't used to wear this, you know, this complete hijab. So she told her, you know, I must tell you what happened to me. Alhamdulillah, that guided me to that which many women have not been guided to. She said, tell me what happened. He said, I went out as I usually go out to the marketplace, go into the mall, you know, wear my uh, jilbab with all the adornment on it and my pants, you know, you can see my pants and high heels and blah, blah, blah. My face was, you know, with full of makeup. And I walked by and a man started staring at me. Okay? She said, okay, well, that's normal. That, that's what she wants at the end of the day. So the man is staring at her. Now she said, there's nothing that he can do because, you know, we're in a society where if he was to touch me, everybody's going to, you know, protect me. So what's the big deal? So anywhere she went, the man was there. And then finally the man approached her. And he said, haram alayki. It's haram what you are doing. She said, what am I doing to you? He said, you are torturing everyone around you. By you doing what you're doing, you are, tortur you are torturing everyone around you. Then he said, رَبَّنَا آتِهَا ضِعْفَيْنِ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ He said, oh Allah, give her a double portion of the punishment. And then this kind of shocked her. Because she didn't realize that when she went out of the house in this particular fashion, every single man who looked at her, because even though he didn't want to, but he looked at her and he found something that interested him, something that made him feel a particular feeling, she will gain a sin. So imagine in an hour visit to the mall and leaving back. And this is brothers who fear Allah. Brothers who fear Allah have to go struggle. This, this was a man who was appearing to be righteous, having to struggle with himself not to look at this woman. Then what do you leave for the men who have no problem staring and glaring from, bar, from top to bottom? All this will be in the book of deeds of the sister. In one visit to the mall, she may be purchasing a ticket for Jahannam. That's what it is. And that's what we said, the Prophet said what he said. Because they don't realize the reality of this action of theirs. They think it's La La Land, you know, Alice in Wonderland. You do whatever you want, life goes on, no accountability, no responsibility, whatever the men do, this is their problem. No, no sister, you, are, you share the sin of making these men seduced. So then this email came and the sister repented to Allah. When she realized, what am I doing? Am I causing all this, they call it in, in uh, collateral damage, you know, damage, devastating damage that cannot be, it cannot be counted. It's too much. But that is what is going on in the Muslim world today. إِلَّا مَنْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.